Bantamweight bout here. Pretty good fight. Cody Stamen minus 145. Douglas Silva de Andrade plus 145. Over under two and a half rounds. Minus 188 for the over. Plus 188 for the under. I got to say, I'm pretty excited for this one. Uh, I think it's going to be all action. And I think, I mean, whenever Douglas Silva de Andrade goes in there, you just look at the guy. I mean, he's like 5'7". Just shredded to the gills. Got like veins popping out everywhere. Cody Stamen, uh, pretty jacked dude as well. Five foot six and uh, not a lot of fat on him. We'll just say that. So a couple of guys that are are juiced up, not literally, but juiced up looking and kind of match up interestingly. But I, I'm, I'm kind of torn on uh, which side to take because it seems kind of like a 50-50. And I want to lean the dog, but what do you think? Yeah, it does. It does seem like a 50 50 fight. And, but I'm slightly leaning towards Cody Stamen for a couple of reasons. One, Deion Draj is almost 40 years old. I mean, he's going to be 40 in a year and a half to a year. Um, and in his last fight against Saeed Nurmagomedov, yeah, Saeed's a beast, but he was outstruck pretty easily in that fight uh, and even got a takedown landed on him. I guess he got one as well against Saeed, but against Sergey Morozov, Morozov, he early was getting taken down and kind of beaten up and then came on later and found that finish. But um against Cody Stamen, who I know you you I know you didn't like his last performance getting Luan Lacerda. And uh maybe Luan, you know, as a big underdog had a few chances to make that fight really close. But he is super fast on the feet with the striking. And his wrestling is is pretty damn good as well. So when you look at the stats side by side, Cody Stamen lands 4.47 significant strikes per minute, which is pretty good. And he lands 2.47 takedowns um, to Deion Draj's 3.61 significant strikes per minute. But Deion Draj gets hit with over four per minute as well. So that tells me that Cody Stamen is going to find the chin while this thing's on the feet. And uh, only a 69% takedown defense for for Deion Draj against the guy in Stamen who um, hasn't really had much problem getting guys to the mat. So those two things mixed together makes me want to lean towards Stamen here a little more confidently. Um, but obviously Deion Draj has the power. He's got the good submission game as well. We saw that against Morozov. Um, but all the signs, the I don't even want to say youth because Cody Stamen is, you know, what, 34 or so. Um, but Cody Stamen just seems like a fresher fighter at this point to me. I think he's faster. I think he's stronger. And uh, everywhere this fight goes, Cody Stamen's going to have some game. So, yeah, man, I got to stick with him right now. Yeah, maybe it's uh, me thinking back to when DeAndraj cast a ticket against uh, Sergey Morozov for me. He's yeah. always, always going to have a, a good place in my heart for coming back in that fight and cashing my ticket there as an underdog. Uh, but, yeah, the loss to Saeed, he didn't look great, uh, even though Saeed is probably a much cleaner striker than Andrade's. Andrade's is kind of a wild, you know, looking for the knockout, just a, I don't want to say like a marauder. Like, he, he's not going to pick his shots. And Saeed just kind of was more accurate, a little bit more uh, active as well. But like you kind of said, I didn't like Cody Stamen's last performance, even though he won 29-28 on uh, all the judges' scorecards. He won the first two rounds and then just kind of took the last round off. Like, one of those rounds was pretty close, and I think he was like minus 300-something. Uh, I think that it was the first round that was close, and – I was like, dang, it could be 1-1 going into the third, and Cody was, like, running. Like, he he thought he banked the first two rounds, and then he was just running, which it worked out for him. He won. He did win the first two rounds, but, you know, how these judges are, I'm like, I don't really trust this. Like, bro, you got to go and try to win the third round, too. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I didn't really like that. I also thought he could have mixed in the wrestling a little bit more, and he just – didn't even like really try. I mean, he only shot two takedowns, didn't land a single one. Um, Cause that's really where he's going to thrive. Like that's kind of his base. And he, it seems like he's fallen in love with the hands a little bit. Uh, Cause he did look sharp with the hands, but I'm like, I don't really want to bet on your hands, bro. Like I want right. to bet on your wrestling ability and what you can do overall. And it didn't really look like he was interested in, in wrestling at all. So maybe he was, 
you know, scared of the the jujitsu of Lacerda or some for some reason. Um, he did knock out Eddie Wineland in his performance before that. So another reason why he might be falling in love with the hands. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think this is probably closer to a 50-50. I actually kind of like the under plus it's at plus 188, under two and a half. Like both guys have finishing ability and with Deandraj being, you know, close to 40 years old, um, definitely – could be looking uh, to not take as much damage in there, but Cody Stamen's been subbed twice before. Deandraj, uh, he's been finished before as well. He's been TKO'd in the second round. He's been subbed in the the, the second round as well. So, I mean, he both guys have been finished. Both guys have good finishing ability. Deandraj is going to bring it in there. Smaller cage, more action. Um, so, yeah, I think it's closer to 50-50. Just to be a contrarian, I'll take Douglas Silva Day on Drash. That can be our little grudge match uh, from last week when I, I beat you with the <laughs> Alaskarov. So I'll take the dog this week instead. I think if you're if you're betting Stamen, last thing I'll say, if you're betting Stamen, I think you're praying for a boring fight. Honestly, you're just yeah, praying he fight. takes him down again and controls him. Which you know people hate boring fights unless you're holding that ticket, then you love it. So 